Welcome back, guys. Will Robinson here from Robinson's Auto Tools and Time.com. Behind us, we have this 04 Ford F-150. Customer complaint is that there's a noise in the rear end. I hate noisy rear ends. All right, Tammy? Yeah. Okay. We got to uh, evaluate the situation. I was going to drive it, but I don't want to drive it too much. It's going to take you guys for a ride, but it is getting quite noisy. I'm on my cell phone right now, so... get on and off the gas when it loads up and uh, it sounds like it has a lot of play in it it's got a whine Get in there, but I want to bring you guys along and see if we can feel anything. A little play is okay, but that's a little excessive. I'm thinking I'm going to have to pull the rear apart, to be honest with you. So I'm going to just take and remove the tires now while we're down here, and then we'll raise it up a little bit and pull the cover off the rear, or maybe we'll just pull the cover off the rear first. What do you think? All right, I got the vehicle raised just enough to sit on this stool and slide underneath here so you can pull up your couch and get a little closer. What I'm going to do, I'm going to just jump right to it. I'm going to pull this cover off the rear and see if we see anything obvious because evidently something is definitely going on. Um, you can tell someone's been here in the past. It's got silicone, like a lot. It's got two different tags. The one tag is the information V953 3L73975. 9E24. The other tag is the oil 75W140 synthetic. The vehicle's been lifted. Um, it has one new rotor on one side, one old rotor on the other side. He said he just had an axle bearing put in it. But evidently, we got something going in this rear. So we're going to break all these loose 13 millimeter. Gonna fall off very easily. You can probably take these bolts off and it'll still go another hundred thousand miles. There's more silicon that's on it. Alright. Where where can I tuck you back? Jeez people. I know somebody's there watching. Whatever you do, don't stick that screwdriver behind that plate. Well, let me tell you something. You're gonna have to stick it somewhere. Yeah, this is usually never a good situation. But now that we have to start it, we might be able to get in here with a with something like this and just start working your way around it. It is getting pretty late. I just want to pull this out before going home. Can you finish it on the back? Yeah, just give me a minute. We're almost there. We're like, just this is on. Off. This is on veiling. Like, this is looking into the heart of the rear. It's like a, it it's not that. We gotta make it like a surprise a little bit, you know, like da da. <laughs> See, we have a limited slip differential here. Ew, Definitely have way more backlash than we should. Well, I'm gonna have to pull the axles and pull the shirt apart. See what I'm do. Well, 
needless to say, for me to pull that center section apart, we got to pull the axles. So we're going to have to pull the wheels. This side, as you notice, well, once we get onto the other side, he gave me a little bit of history on the vehicle. This back tire was smoking. Well, not the tire, but there was smoke coming from the left rear. He brought it to another shop and it had a leaky axle seal. Supposedly, they replaced the axle baron along with the seal, new rotor, and pads. The other side, we're probably going to find, hasn't been replaced, he told me. Which I don't know why people do stuff like that. However, we'll find out. Because we're going to go yank that wheel off. And then we'll start yanking the calipers off, hang them up, and then uh, pop out the center bolt, pull the axles. You'll see how it goes. Another repair video. It's not really a, I mean, it'll be a how to, but it's not going to be vehicle specific. Because I don't believe this is the correct rear in this truck. But the stuff we have to deal with. Well, most of you guys don't know because I haven't showed you the, the full shot. But there's also an upstairs. In addition, there's a, another building that's attached to the front. This used to be all one, one big uh, body shop slash used car lot for a GM dealership. That light's really glaring. And the front side just became available. And I'm looking at it, but I don't know if I want to expand. I just got this place, and now I have an option to expand almost, not twice the size, but at least another half the size of this. And then it has a storefront. But I don't think I could afford it at this time, so I'm not even sure why I'm telling you guys about it. All right, it looks like the they replaced the pads at least. Same old rotor. Ask me no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Pull that in a little bit. I should have did that before I... Now you get my metal brake line. Well, you know on these, you just pry the top. Get a map. This one I'm gonna put this way because it's made a little longer for these rears. on the opposing side. Go to right. Deja vu, take two. Shaft out. We're gonna take and uh, we'll put a mark on it so we put it back in the same orientation. I don't know. Five sixteenths fits better than an eight millimeter. Five sixteenths felt loose. I mean, eight millimeter felt loose. I did not want to take a chance on stripping it. Okay, now we have both of the e joint retainer clamps off. You should really take and mark this drive shaft at this point. I don't know if it's super necessary, but since we're gonna have it all apart. But sometimes these are balanced in a unit. 
I highly doubt that this one is. Get, get behind there like that. Then what I want you to do next, so you don't lose these caps, is get yourself some tape. I just want to show you these. These joints were supposedly replaced within a year ago or so, he said. So we're just going to take and do this and try to keep these caps from falling off of there so we don't have to replace them again. Alright. Let me just take and set that up there like so. is what it should be. I don't like how sloppy that is. Shouldn't take much to break loose. No, oh, she's good. We're gonna come out this direction with the pin. I'll tell you what guys, I'm gonna start getting something I could put tools and parts in not tools per se, but bolts and nuts, because when you start putting stuff on the floors, this is where I go back to the time I damn near lost the top of this finger. If you look at it, it was cut off pretty much at that knuckle, broke the bone, and it was a very bad day, all due to a socket sitting on the floor that I tripped over. All right, guys, I have you damn near sitting on my lap, so I hope you're enjoying the, the comfort. As you see, I took and I spun that a little bit and the pin started falling out the bottom. So I need both hands. So we're gonna take, we're gonna push up on that pin. Now we're gonna pull this pin out. Okay, pretty straightforward so far. Next, I'm gonna spin this up here. And this is how a lot of Chevy rears are set up as well. But if you take a look inside, you'll see where the axles come through. Right here, these are the axle shafts. So what I'm gonna do is actually reach out. Now that that pin is removed, that pin was keeping them axles from going in any further. So, not sure if this is gonna help, but I gotta reach out here and push in on the axle. Okay, hopefully you've seen that. Then there's a little C clip, like a like a little C retaining clip in here. We're gonna take and we're gonna, we're gonna reach in there. We're gonna pull that sucker out. That axle's ready to be removed. Reach out here, push that in. I'll give you a little better shot on this one. So my big old paw is being in the way. You got this. Okay. There you can see where that tannin clip was at. Right. Let's do the other side. Same thing. Try to get you in there a little bit to see that extra backlash. That's definitely an annoys the clunking he's here. It's pretty excessive. I don't know if you can see it. But these are starting to roll over. So I don't know if this was run ran out of oil with the leaky rear seal. The actual seal was definitely replaced. I just looked at it, but nonetheless, we got to get this out and uh, see what we could do. Inspect the bearings and whatnot, because sometimes when the gears wear like this, you can get a, a noise out of them, other than just the clunking. You get a, a gear whine, but. I just want to make sure all the bearings are good as well. I mean, it's not ready to blow apart yet, per se. 
So I could slap it back together and fill it with oil and tell him he's got a little bit of time. However, the right thing to do would be to pull this out, change the ring and pinion, uh, reset it back up, all new bearings. But we got to first identify what exactly is in this rear. So that's what I'm going to try to do now. Now if this rear wasn't taken apart before, you'd have to stamp them, but as you see here we have someone who put a, a set one dot here and also one dot there. And over here you got two dots and then two dots on the cap as well on this side. So we'll just have to re remember to line them back up when we go to put it back in. 19 millimeter, we're going to take and pull the caps. Red lock. Man, it feels feels bad, you know? And you definitely don't want this thing falling out on your foot. That would suck. So you know, it's a little bit up in there like so. Timmy, can you grab that for me? That's fine. Now we just want to take a peek on what exactly they have here. As far as shims and whatnot. So, where's my drop button? Looks like they just have one big shim on this side and one big one on this side. We can only get so lucky when we put it back together that it's the same. What I'm going to do, just so I don't drop this thing, is just start these caps on loosely. I'm going to try to pop it with a pry bar. There you go. Now we started coming out. That's motor mode. Mm -hmm. Sometimes he's stuck back in there pretty darn good. So I just hope I'm able to lift this tonight because it's been a long day. Try to do this without hurting myself. Okay. I didn't want to do that. But that's what happened. So we're going to take this over and set it on the bench. Okay, so the one space that stayed up in there, this space right now is from this side. Yeah. Now I'll be able to get some numbers off that. But I want to come back over here soon. Alright, this spacer here, we know fell straight down. This one is still in place. So, I'm going to clean this up later. But we know this spacer was over here. Okay? This outer race. From over here, this is all getting replaced no matter what. This one looks like it was in pretty good shape. That outer race is over there. So, if you could grab me that outer race, Tammy, I'm gonna also take this and we're gonna set it over on the bench. It's the same exact way that we pulled it out. That's a nasty, huh? Yeah. 
wrong with you cleaning the floor? <laughs> Are you trying to say you don't have a cleaner? Maybe. <laughs> 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 Alright, so this one was for here, this one was for here. I thought I think it's a Ford Martin. 975. 9.75. Are these numbers down here? 175W? Yeah, they're upside down on here, though. I know, they're upside down on here, too. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, it's not a one. It's an F75W. 4205. Now we got a 4E04. I need all these numbers written down. See, we just don't know if this ring gear was replaced, so we're going to take and put a mark here. And then I'm going to take and I'm going to count each tooth. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And 40, 41. 41. I'm going to count one more time. 41, right? That's what she said the first time. I'm as old as me. I can't have my teeth on that. Can you? I'm gonna count the teeth on this thing. Any guesses before I count it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we know it's pretty evident that somebody's been in here. And we have 41 teeth on the ring, nine teeth on the pinion. So we gotta figure out the ratio. So we got 41 divided by nine equals 4.55. Oh man. Now I gotta see if I can find a ring and pinion for it. content please like i'd love to hear your feedback down in the comments below if you're new to this channel or you haven't done so already please subscribe check that bell and check the box to send you notifications of every time i upload a new video